Filthy Wild Sex Lives of Yanomami Amazon Tribes The Yanomami tribe, also known as the Yanomomo, is an indigenous group living in the Amazon rainforest, primarily in the border region between Venezuela and Brazil. Their rich history spans thousands of years, and their cultural practices surrounding love and marriage are deeply intertwined with their social structure and beliefs. Let us delve into the fascinating world of Yanomami love and marriage. The Yanomami people have a complex kinship system that governs their social interactions, including marriage. Marriage among the Yanomami is typically arranged, with parents or other senior members of the community playing a key role in the selection of a suitable spouse for their children. The primary consideration is often the social and economic compatibility between the families involved. Love and courtship play important roles in Yanomami marriage. Young men often engage in fights known as hookahooka to attract the attention and admiration of young women. These fights, which involve physical combat and wrestling, serve as a form of courtship ritual. The women observe these fights and choose their partners based on the display of strength, agility, and bravery. Once a couple is engaged, a marriage ceremony takes place within the Yanomami community. This ceremony involves various rituals and festivities that celebrate the union of the couple. These rituals include the exchange of gifts between the families, traditional dances, and the consumption of special foods. The entire community participates in these ceremonies, strengthening the bonds between families and affirming the importance of marriage in Yanomami society. In Yanomami culture, marriage is not limited to the union between two individuals. It is a union between families and communities. As such, marriage is seen as a means to establish alliances, strengthen social networks, and ensure the survival and well-being of the entire community. The Yanomami also have specific beliefs and practices regarding sexuality and fertility. They believe in the importance of procreation and the continuation of their lineage. Sexual relations are not limited to married couples but are also seen as a means to ensure the fertility of the community. Yanomami women often participate in communal sexual practices, known as sharing wives, in which a woman may have sexual relations with multiple men to increase the chances of conception. One key aspect of Yanomami love and marriage is the concept of shapori, which refers to the act of courtship and the development of a romantic relationship. Young men and women engage in a series of rituals and interactions to express their interest in one another. These interactions can include exchanging gifts, spending time together, and participating in communal activities. The Yanomami also have a practice known as marriage by capture or bride kidnapping, although it is important to understand this practice within its cultural context. It is not a form of forced marriage, but rather a symbolic gesture where a man may take a woman from her family with her consent. This act symbolizes the man's desire to marry the woman, and it is followed by negotiations and discussions between the families involved. Divorce is uncommon among the Yanomami, as marriage is considered a lifelong commitment. However, in cases of infidelity or other serious breaches of trust, divorce may occur. Divorced individuals are often able to remarry, although there may be some social stigma attached to the dissolution of a marriage. In most cases divorce is very rare among the Yanomami, but it can occur in cases of severe conflicts or breaches of trust. However, even in cases of divorce, the welfare of children is prioritized, and both parents continue to play active roles in their upbringing. In terms of marital dynamics, the Yanomami have a relatively egalitarian society where both men and women play important roles. Marriages are often based on mutual respect and cooperation, with each partner contributing to the well-being of the family and community. Tasks and responsibilities are shared, and decision-making is often reached through consensus. Marriage within the Yanomami tribes is typically arranged and plays a central role in maintaining social ties between different villages. Young men often marry older women, fostering alliances between families and ensuring the transmission of cultural knowledge from one generation to the next. Polygamy is also common, with men having multiple wives, further strengthening social bonds and community cohesion. The Yanomami place great importance on the concept of reciprocity and sharing within their communities. 
Food and resources are shared among families and neighboring villages, ensuring that everyone has access to sustenance and preventing any one individual or family from accumulating wealth or power. It is important to note that the Yanomami people have faced numerous challenges throughout their history, including encroachment on their lands, violence, and disease. These factors have impacted their traditional way of life, including their cultural practices surrounding love and marriage. Efforts to preserve and protect the Yanomami culture and their unique traditions are ongoing. The Yanomami people have a rich history of love and marriage, with customs deeply rooted in their social structure and beliefs. Marriage serves as a means to establish alliances, strengthen communities, and ensure the continuation of their lineage. The rituals, ceremonies, and communal practices surrounding love and marriage are a testament to the cultural significance and importance placed on these unions within the Yanomami society. Love and marriage serve as vital components of their cultural identity, fostering social cohesion and the continuation of their heritage. Origins and Traditional Lifestyle The Yanomami are believed to have migrated to the Amazon rainforest thousands of years ago, originating from various indigenous groups in South America. Their ancestors settled in the dense jungles of the Orinoco River Basin, spreading across what is now known as the Brazilian state of Roraima and the southern part of Venezuela. The Yanomami tribes are known for their semi-nomadic lifestyle, moving between villages within their ancestral territories in search of food and resources. The Yanomami people have a profound spiritual connection to their environment, viewing themselves as an integral part of the natural world. They believe in the existence of both benevolent and malevolent spirits that reside in every aspect of nature, including animals, plants, rivers, and mountains. Rituals and ceremonies play a significant role in their daily lives, ensuring a harmonious relationship with the spirits and the natural forces that surround them. Social Structure and Community Life The Yanomami tribes have a communal way of life, organizing themselves into extended family groups known as shibonos or communal houses. These large circular structures, made of wood and thatched roofs, can house multiple families and serve as the central gathering place for social activities and ceremonies. Within the Yanomami society, leadership is often based on age, wisdom, and the ability to mediate disputes. Shamans, or spiritual leaders, hold a respected position within the community, serving as healers and intermediaries between the human and spirit worlds. They play a crucial role in maintaining balance and harmony within the tribe. Efforts to protect Yanomami rights In response to the threats faced by the Yanomami tribes, both local and international organizations have mobilized to support their rights and preserve their way of life. Advocacy groups, indigenous organizations, and concerned individuals have raised awareness about the challenges faced by the Yanomami people and have pushed for legal protections and the demarcation of their ancestral lands. The Yanomami have also been actively involved in advocating for their rights, raising their voices against illegal mining, deforestation, and the violation of their territorial boundaries. Their resilience and determination to preserve their culture and protect their lands have garnered global attention and support.